meatloaf over and over again can get a little bit uninteresting. So we turned to Chef Tony Nataro to spice it up a bit with this next item. It's called the Miracle Meatloaf Pan. Chef Tony, welcome back, buddy. Great Good to, to see you, David. How are you? Always a pleasure to have you back. Thank and you. Thank this you. is an amazing little device that will allow you to take ordinary meatloaf and make it extraordinary. Absolutely. Just take a look at the inside. This is the entire meal. We made a turkey meatloaf and then put our stuffing on the inside, David. So now you can take all your favorite ingredients, stuff it on the inside of your meatloaf and make one pan meals that are absolutely delicious. All the fats and oil stay inside the pan so you get a very healthy and delicious beautiful meatloaf and I've made a whole bunch of them. So stuff. this was a turkey meatloaf correct. stuffed with holiday Thanksgiving stuffing. That is correct. So it's so easy to repurpose leftovers to be able to Absolutely. do all kinds of things that are, are marvelous. You will get a recipe booklet with this. Now Chef Tony has put together and there's his signature logo. You'll love that because he's mwah, loving what he's <laughs> making. But I'll tell you that this is Chef Tony's meatloaf recipe book that comes with your uh, with your Miracle Meatloaf pan. There are 23 recipes included in this little booklet. We're going to show you just a sampling of those today. But I do want to remind you that there are three color choices. So uh, real quickly, I'll show those and we'll get right back into Absolutely, the food. Absolutely, no problem. So the color comes in the little insert. This insert is what's going to make the indentation in the meatloaf so you can create a cavity to stuff it. So we have it in bl uh, blue, we have it in black, and we have it in red. And of course, you're going to get the uh, recipe booklet. You're also getting the little lift out uh, drain tray and your meatloaf pan itself. All right, Chef, how does this work? Absolutely, it's really simple. Take your meatloaf recipe, place it on the inside of the pan. And our cover is dual stage. So when I place it in this position, that's what's gonna make your cavity. You press it on the inside, That'll make the cavity so you have your opening to take your fillings. So it's about an inch and a half deep there. Correct. Now this is one my dad had taught me years ago. We used to take all our leftover cold cuts and just place it on the inside like that. Then you lay over the rest of your meat and I'll just show everybody the finished product for the sake of time. And then you take your top, you reverse it, you give a quick press down. That locks the side so that nothing is oozing out. It in. Seals yeah, it seals exactly. It in. And now you have the perfect meatloaf. Okay. So that would go in the oven and then we take out the one that's already done by the magic of TV. Okay. We'll take this out. Now, Chef, let's not rush past this little tray. Sure. This tray is what allows the fats that are rendered for the meatloaf to go Correct. down into the bottom of the pan, but the meatloaf doesn't reabsorb it. You know, while we love meatloaf, meatloaf is kind of like a sponge. And if it's sitting in all that fat, it'll just <laughs> suck it all suck back it up. Suck it right, right back in, right. And if it's sucked up into the meatloaf and you eat the meatloaf, you might as well be drinking what's in that uh, measuring cup. There's no need to do that because what's going to happen is that it all renders away, but the meatloaf is elevated so it doesn't sit down in that rendered fat. That is correct. So let's cut into this bad boy. So this boy. is the cold cut great. one. Wait till you see this. There's a plate right to your left there, David, Ooh. if you want to grab that. Yes, sir. I'm just going to cut this open so I can show everybody You have to ask me just but once. Look at that. I mean, that is absolutely beautiful. So all your beautiful cold cuts so and your cheese. So a blend of cheeses. Correct. And cheeses then, and cold cuts and then the ground beef and the meatloaf, Absolutely. Right? Absolutely. This looks great. Wait till you taste it. It's just phenomenal. And what's great about it is the cold cut flavors from the salamis and everything mm -hmm. go inside the beef, mm -hmm. and then you get the natural flavor of the beef. Uh huh. And that's just one stuffing. That's just cold cuts. <laughs> Can I show my mama's? This one that my dad taught me. Here's one my mama taught what me. You got? Oh, this is. You're gonna see this. You're gonna go crazy. This is manicotes or fresh manicotti. So we put the manicottis on the inside and made a meatball recipe. You put recipe. cheese stuffed manicotti Correct. inside meatloaf. Inside the meatloaf. That's the crazy. Meatball, the meat recipe is meatballs, so it's like eating <laughs> manicotti and meatballs. And Love this it. is the great part about this product. Your imagination will just absolutely throw your family through the roof. Take a look at this one. How about funky chicken, which is a chicken recipe, but look at that Greek spinach feta cheese stuffing. Oh, man. Now, if that doesn't so make you chicken, hungry. So that's a ground chicken meatloaf <laughs> absolutely. with Basically, spanakopita inside, That's right? That's exactly right, minus the phyllo dough. And exactly. you can add the phyllo if you wanted to. Let's slide this over just That's a little bit. That's delicious. Now, Ready this is this? ground pork. This is like a pizza. Oh, stop. So, oh, yeah, I had to do that. Stop. Take a look at the inside. So, we did pepperoni pizza uh, on the I'm inside. Have a little, um, bite of that. Would you like some? Yeah. My pleasure. Mm -hmm. Let me pull this up. Let me take this up real quick. So, this is a pork. This is pork with pepperoni pizza on the inside. <laughs> <laughs> That's crazy. You're gonna hit your heartstrings today for sure. Well, Wait till you see his face. I'll tell you what, here we go. Let me get a little meatloaf. Mm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. <laughs> mm hmm. Mm hmm. Thank you. Stop it. If you that's like pepperoni pizza inside the meatloaf, come on. You like pepperoni pizza, that's exactly what this meatloaf tastes like. And just one more for my friends out there. Mm. How about a beautiful Mexican dish? So, isn't that good? I'm sorry, this is just the best thing <laughs> I've eaten in a long time. 
All right. Wow, well, that's tasty. I'm going to go to one that you're going to love. I, okay. I don't want to blow by this because this is a Mexican meltdown. So what we did is we put burritos on the inside, and then you can make a nice <laughs> Mexican mix, which we have in our recipe. And it's a pork meatloaf. That is correct. So pork with... Um, What's inside? The spices. We actually have some special spices, adobo, and then a little bit of uh, jalapenos. That's so you amazing. get that little kick. So no matter what you want to stuff it with, I'm going to come right to one of your favorites, and I'll save this one for our last. This is just killer. And again, what you would do and normally, you'd make your meats, then you'd make your side dish. Can you grab one of those plates for me? Of course. I'll show this to everybody while you about go crazy. Oh, no way. Look at that. This is stuffed macaroni and cheese stuffed inside meatloaf. Stuffed macaroni and cheese. Oh, well. <laughs> I think we're just going to have to shut it down. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Give this a go. And they're all inside the book, friends. So when you're home, mm. you can look at the recipe, pick your favorite meat, pick your favorite stuffing, pop it together. My friend, <laughs> wow. That is crazy. <laughs> Thank you. And you know what? What's nice about this, you could either make it with fresh mac and cheese, or if you've got leftover mac and cheese, which That's never happens right. in my house. But if you do, you can you put this inside. There are so many recipe ideas. There are 23 recipes that are included in the book. So many wonderful things to do, and absolutely take advantage of this. And that's egg inside One more there. Plate. Yeah, let me just show Ooh, this sorry, real buddy. quick. Yes, yes, yes. Just got to show this to everybody so they can see the egg on the inside. This is my Aunt Nancy's recipe. So it has <laughs> ham on the outside with mashed potatoes, some sun dried tomatoes, well, and egg and spinach, and fresh egg. It's Absolutely. I mean, just look at that presentation. When your family sees that, they're going to think you worked all day in the kitchen. If you do not do that pepperoni pizza inside <laughs> this pork um, meatloaf, I'm coming to your house and I'm going to make it for you because it's that good. $15.46. We have it in red, blue, and black. There is a recipe book included. Don't don't miss out on this item. 2,000 of these are gone. Oh, Chef, thank you, everybody. 600 people on the line. Thank Great you. Great to have you thank back. You. Wow, this pepperoni <laughs> pizza one. I'm going to cut myself one. This one is.